Before you rush to dump your DJI equipment, panic over headlines, or start searching for overpriced alternatives, it's critical to slow down and actually understand what's happening, because right now the drone and creator space is overflowing with misinformation, exaggerated takes, and algorithm-fueled fear that's pushing people toward bad decisions, and at the center of it all are three major DJI developments that are dominating discussion across social media, forums, and YouTube, two of which are genuinely exciting for creators, filmmakers, FPV pilots, and content professionals, while the third has been wildly misrepresented in a way that makes the situation sound far more catastrophic than it really is. So let's cut through the noise and lay everything out clearly by breaking down the current DJI regulatory situation in the United States, the rumored next-generation FPV concept known as the DJI Avata 360 and the surprisingly detailed leaks surrounding the Osmo Pocket 4, because once you see the full picture, you'll understand what's real, what's speculative hype, and what actions actually make sense if you're a drone pilot, aerial cinematographer, or handheld camera user today. Starting with the so-called DJI ban, yes, as of December 23, 2025, DJI was officially placed on the FCC covered list following provisions outlined in the 2025 National Defense Authorization Act, but that does not mean your existing DJI drones are illegal, grounded, disabled, or remotely bricked, and it absolutely does not mean you need to stop flying your mini-series, Mavic Air, Mavic Pro, Inspire, Avata, or FPV drones because ownership and operation of existing DJI products remains fully legal under current FAA regulations, with no firmware shutdowns, no kill switches, and no sudden flight restrictions imposed on consumers or professionals. And the reason this situation unfolded is far more bureaucratic than sinister, since Section 1709 of the NDAA required a national security review of DJI to be completed by a federal agency by a specific deadline, but the legislation didn't clearly assign responsibility to any single agency, resulting in months of inaction despite DJI repeatedly requesting audits from multiple departments including DHS, DOD, and intelligence agencies, and when no completed review was delivered by the deadline, an automatic mechanism triggered DJI's placement on the FCC covered list following a last-minute interagency national security determination submitted to the FCC just days before the cutoff, meaning this outcome was driven by procedural failure and geopolitical pressure rather than proven findings of data misuse, spyware, or malicious code, which is further supported by historical contexts such as leaked Pentagon testing reports that previously examined DJI government edition drones and found no evidence of data exfiltration or hostile intent, while recommending them for official use, alongside DJI's years-long implementation of features like local data mode, offline operation, AES-256 encryption, and the disabling of automatic cloud syncing for US users, all of which undermines the narrative that consumer DJI drones are secretly funneling sensitive information overseas. And what this FCC listing actually changes is the ability to import and sell new DJI products in the US market going forward, which explains why globally launched models like the Mini 5 Pro and Mavic 4 Pro skipped a US release, but it does not retroactively affect devices already owned, registered, or flown although long-term considerations such as slower firmware updates, app availability challenges on iOS, rising spare part costs, and potential future compliance hurdles are realistic concerns that creators should plan around rather than panic over, especially when you consider the massive real-world impact a full DJI removal would have on public safety agencies, agriculture, construction, inspection, search and rescue, and filmmaking industries that rely on DJI's unmatched performance to price ratio, with nearly 90% of US police and fire departments currently using DJI platforms because alternatives are dramatically more expensive and often less capable. Which brings us to the more exciting side of current DJI leaks, starting with the rumored DJI Avata 360 a next-level FPV concept that appears to merge immersive first-person flight with true 360-degree spherical video capture, and based on multiple leaks, FCC approvals, and insider reports, 
This is not simply an Avatar 2 refresh, but a completely new creative tool aimed at redefining FPV storytelling. With rumored dual 1.1-inch sensors capable of capturing high-resolution 360 footage, possibly even reaching 8K, which would be a massive leap over traditional FPV camera systems that rely on much smaller sensors with limited dynamic range, and the real innovation may lie in a mechanically adaptive camera system that can switch between full spherical capture and a forward-facing FPV mode, allowing pilots to fly aggressively while still retaining the flexibility to reframe shots in post-production, paired with potential LiDAR-based omnidirectional obstacle awareness designed to provide spatial safety without stripping away manual control, along with rumored OCUSYNC 4.0 connectivity extended transmission range, improved penetration, and significantly better battery life possibly approaching 25 minutes, which would be impressive for an FPV drone carrying advanced imaging hardware. And while pricing estimates place this firmly in premium territory, the creative implications are enormous, since capturing an environment once and choosing framing later could fundamentally change how FPV travel videos, real estate fly-throughs, action sports, and cinematic sequences are produced, though US availability remains uncertain due to the regulatory landscape despite FCC filings appearing shortly before the cutoff date, and finally shifting from the air to handheld creation, the Osmo Pocket 4 leaks may be the most intriguing because they suggest DJI is testing not one but potentially two distinct versions of its next Pocket Gimbal camera, building on the Osmo Pocket 3's already strong reputation among vloggers, filmmakers, and run-and-gun creators thanks to its large sensor, AI tracking, and stabilization, with leaked images showing one prototype featuring a bulkier dual-camera setup that hints at expanded focal-length options or enhanced computational video features aimed at professionals, while another prototype appears closer to the traditional pocket form factor but with a visibly larger lens module, redesigned gimbal assembly physical control buttons returning beneath the display for faster manual operation, and FCC documentation suggesting a significantly larger battery for extended shooting sessions, all of which points to meaningful usability upgrades rather than incremental tweaks, and alongside these leaks is evidence of a compact wireless control accessory possibly designed to unify control across multiple DJI cameras and gimbals reinforcing the idea that DJI is still heavily invested in ecosystem integration and creator workflows, even amid regulatory headwinds, and when you step back and look at everything together, the reality is far less dire than online panic suggests, because the DJI ban impacts future product imports rather than current ownership, the Avata 360 represents a potentially groundbreaking evolution in FPV cinematography, the Osmo Pocket 4 appears poised to offer serious upgrades for handheld shooters, and for creators today the smartest move is to keep flying, keep filming, back up your apps, manage risk with backup equipment if you operate commercially, and stay informed rather than reactive, because despite political posturing and geopolitical tension, existing DJI gear remains legal, functional, and unmatched for most use cases, and whether you're most excited about next general FPV innovation, curious about which Pocket 4 variant might launch, or simply relieved to understand what the FCC decision actually means, the key takeaway is that informed creators win in the long run by focusing on making content, not chasing fear-driven headlines.